Welcome, Aries, to your timeless love reading. This is to be with Medium of the Light Tarot. Thank you for joining me today. We already got cards flying, people. All right, so what is going on with Aries in love? And of course, you're going to choose this, or you chose this, um, by the title. Because obviously, it resonated with you. So let's see, Aries, what is going on in your love life? The Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords reversed, the, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and I'll move these cards up. Don't you be worrying. Two of Cups and the World. Wow. I just got through starting to shuffle these and had this wild fling of cards and bending and anyway, extraneous information. Let's move forward. All right. Looks like you're really trying to give forth good vibes, good, you know, passionate energy You've got the four of wands here, so you're like, you want this higher level of commit, commitment and to top it off, you have the Hierophant there. So all of it's indicating that you're you're putting in forth the that initial fiery energy. You want to move it to the next phase and you want to move it yet to the next phase with the Hierophant. Your person, and I always flip the story as it reads. With your person, they've got the Knight of Cups here. They also want to offer you their cup, but it is reversed. And actually, this is the first time I have ever noticed this, but there is a shark right down there waiting. I never noticed that before. So this person, and I, I get it where it's, you know, they're following, they're following your person and that's their fear. And with, you know, because there's two young cards here where, you know, it could be a younger person than you. With this um, Page of Pentacles, they're still trying to figure out which way they want to go. Because they've got this fear. They want to offer their love. But they're fearful. With this Page of Pentacles, they're like, I don't know which way. Let me flip the coin and find out. They, they have a lot of fear here. And here's the, you know, the Eight of Swords, which is... Um, as Ramblin' Mike says from his channel, with this card, it's kind of like the mental mind fuck. And I would agree. It's like, is she really not able to get out? I mean, the kitty can easily get out. She's got the tools, you know, like to call her, her broom up and conjure whatever she needs. It's not like she lost all of her tools. Her kitty could nod off, for God's sake. Come on. So anyway, oh, and look, there's a bird. Yeah, so you don't have any fear. Your person has fear. And the potential here in the storyline is this Ten of Pentacles. It's in the reverse. You know, they can't deny that they want to be with you, that they have romantic feelings for you. They can't deny it. You know, but with this Ten of Pentacles being, you know, upside down or reversed, they are scared. And then here is the world card. So it's like both of you do want the world when they let their fear go. When they don't let their fear get in the way of the situation.
What is going on with this Ace of Wands here? The King of Pentacles in reverse. You know that they can offer you what you want. You just, you know it, but you can see their fear. And here is the Six of Wands. So <clears throat> this is that equal give and take. You know, you're requiring that equal reciprocity and you're not getting it because this person is fearful because it's in the reverse. What is the Hierophant card here for? The Five of Wands. So, I think on the inside you have some inner bickering amongst yourself, or, you know, within yourself about like, oh, is this worth it? You know, that's kind of your fear. So, you know, and this could be too, like you were talking with your friends and going, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, this is the signs, what do you think? The Knight of Cups. In reverse, what's going on there? Comes the Three of Cups. So they actually might, let me see. They actually have someone else, either they're dating also, or they're thinking about, contemplating about, but they do really like you. And I guess that's why the page of pentacles is coming out, flipping the coin. Should I go this way or should I go that way? And I think it's, um, let me check in here. I think it's just their fear. It's their ego going, oh, well, I have choices and I need to keep my choices open because they're scared of what's happening between the two of you. The five of swords. You know, they're scared of, you know, what could happen. They just got a lot of fear. And then the three of swords, it's in reverse. They're, they're scared to get their heart broken. You know, and it's interesting here where, you know, the hair font where it's someone meditating. So it's definitely saying you're going to need to be patient and meditate. So with this ten of pentacles comes the eight of cups in reverse. So it's, I think they tried to move on before. They tried to move away from you, but they're finding that they can't with this two of cups here in the world. What else is happening with this two of cups here? They're just fighting themselves along the way. And you're fighting because this is the queen of swords in reverse. You're fighting and they're fighting your own like your own inner battles of like no don't go cold no don't go cold because they want this too you want this too you know it's like finding yourself going oh maybe this isn't worth it maybe i should just go cold and they are too but i think it's a little futile because they're putting up the good fight because they're they're scared and worried but you know, and this this is also telling me they're throwing caution to the wind. That's what, it, you know, eventually they're going to let go of their fear and throw caution to the wind. I think that's going to be the title of, of this reading. They're throwing caution to the wind. And you, my dear, are going to have to have strength. And realize this is going to take time. You know, usually I pull more cards, but this one is pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's do the Romance Angels. Why not? What else do we need to know? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. And that's true. It'll alleviate this person's fear of you by getting to know you more. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you now. And now is deceiving because you're going to need strength and time. But be clear about what, you're, what you want and be clear about your actions and intentions like with this one. 
Like, should I be cool? Should I not be cold? Should I be cold? Should I act aloof? Don't do it. Be very cognizant of how you, what you're manifesting in this. Worth waiting for. And indeed, they are. All right, Aries, I hope this was helpful. Please leave me a like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And a thumbs down if it didn't. All right, I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye-bye.